Welcome back on the branch. Welcome back. And we're glowing again. Oh, well, to put it fair, I think we've always been glowing. Uh, we, we want glowing reviews. But oh, I can't shake my head hard enough at you. So, porn. Yeah, so, so last episode we talked a bit about porn and Playboys, but... Um, I don't know. So, so where where exactly were we going with that? Jumping right back into things. Um, I don't know. Because I mean, you know, <laughs> you do, you you joked about doing that with your kids, but you know, we also said the well, kind of experience that I might have. Yeah, and, I mean, I wouldn't put my give my kids my porn. I was gonna say I don't I don't think that's probably a good idea for anybody to do, but. At least not the stuff nowadays. Yeah, no, not so much. Like, it was it was kind of a different thing back in the time when Grandpa did it because it was all very vanilla porn, but... Yeah. I don't know. That's kind of an interesting thing to, like, look at and think about that like that. Um, I think my leaving my Playboys, I have quite a few issues. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's entirely separate on its own because that is... It's head to a... Or held to a very different standard, I guess. Yeah. Like, there's a certain, I don't want to yeah. say cap limit, but there is a very, I don't know, how, how, how do I describe that? There's a certain uh, classiness. Yeah, I, I guess I guess to put it in the right wording, it can only go so far. Yeah, well, that's the lever we pulled, remember? Oh, yeah. I wonder why the floor was blowing, though. Uh, I don't know. No, Playing tricks uh, in your eyes? Other things that, though, like, I want to pass on other things, though. Like, if I have a, l- a little kid, the first one I want to, you know, I want to pass my teddy bear on to them. Okay. So is that something, like, you want your parents to or? No, my teddy bear, the teddy bear that I have is the first teddy bear I ever got. Okay. And I've had him since I was five years old. His name is Ted, well, Theodore Edward Bear. Uh... So, teddy bear. I see, I, you, I see what you did there. Teddy, Teddy just was at Teddy when I was little, but yeah. Now he's more mature. Okay, he has a girlfriend. Sense. Oh, he does. Yeah, sugar bunny. Oh, he's going up the world. Um, but he still sleeps with me, you know, in between our boobs every night. The, the, the foundations gotcha. are infested. Demons uh, and devils. Many lives will be lost if you try to build there. <laughs> You have done well to complete and you've your done goal well to complete your goal beyond the construction key. continuous plan. Continuous plan. The demons. But the demons. You'd be insane to build there. Silence, dog. You know, what dwells beneath the is he really saying this after he saw what this guy is? Uh, he didn't. He doesn't know what he looks like. Oh, right. That's someone else. Yeah. So other things, though. I actually went on eBay and bought a new Rainbow Bright sheet because the one I have is like paper thin. Oh, yeah. Like, the, the slightest like a, breeze. So, so are we talking about a sheet or a blanket? It's something? a sheet. Like, it's a okay, sheet. Okay, okay. So, so, so you bought a new sheet. Bed sheet. Yeah. Okay. The scourge of God. I wanted to check. Oh, okay, we're just pushing people down. Uh, oh, okay. Whoa, alright. This, this guy is just... Silent. <laughs> wow. Anyway, so Rainbow Bright Sheet. Uh, yeah. So I had I have a few things from my childhood that I really cherish, and that's one of them was my Rainbow Bright Sheet. Okay. FYI, this is that thing I was telling you about. Oh. Oh. Horrible. Yep. Wow, that's cool. By that I mean horrifying. Mm-hmm. I get some. And then it gets really low res. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a sepia-colored old photo <laughs> before there were even cameras. I was going to say, I'm like, where did this picture come from? <laughs> How are we getting this? I hope my, my, my talents of bad video game playing don't pass on. Well, and actually, I guess bringing it on, that is something I would like want to pass on. Ugh. Why does it do that? Because you go more insane every passage. God, made. that makes me sick. Let's let's actually go have some fun while we're insane, real quick. Ugh. 
Oh, actually, there's one thing in here. Um, but anyway, I guess following that logic, I, again, I don't ever plan on having children. Like, flat out, tables on, you know, cards on the table. I don't want them. I don't plan on it. I would do anything You'll to avoid that. You'll still be Uncle Anik. Yeah, I'm already Uncle Anik. I've got two young, uh, I've got a niece and nephew already, and that's a tumultuous story for another time, but, um, oh, hello. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, did I did I get in your way? Um, but yeah, it's like for me, and that's that's actually something I did try to pass on to my niece and nephew. Uh, whether it's sticking well or not, I don't know. Is gaming? Yeah. Um, because oh god, that slant is just making me sick. Oh, hey statue, what's up, dude? See. Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. He, he did another point, but... Um, anyway, but yeah, yeah, it's... I remember when I was a kid, that got passed on to me because, you know, we grew up with... Oh, um... <laughs> hi? <laughs> what? What, um... Um... Okay... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Bitchy games. Anyway. That globe wasn't there before. I thought it was. Was it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. I don't know what the whole, what this door, like, come on, we, we'll we know there's, a, we know there's a door, like, stop fucking with this game. Anyway, 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 anyway. So, I grew up with the original NES. I grew up with the Gray Brick Game Boy. Uh, yeah. And that's things that I got passed on by my family. Uh, you know, my sister and my mother. But that's also something I would want to pass on in trade. Now, obviously, times have to change and adapt. Are we going to see her in the, the tub again? Or? No, I, don't, I think that's no. a one-shot deal. Okay. What about on the toilet? <laughs> that would be a hor- <laughs> that, that would be a horrifying experience to watch. Um, but I mean, not Taco Bell <laughs> The nightmare of Taco Bell. Anyway, so yeah, I, I just I think that's something that would be cool is finding the right games and then sharing that with the younger generation, even if it's not like older games. But I mean, you know, modern stuff maybe. Yeah, he's totally checking out. Dude, your ass. I was gonna say he's checking out dad ass. <laughs> she waggles those hips, though. Still. She does, yeah. She she does got that hip waggle. Um, but I think in that regard, though, talking about like modern to old gaming, it's trying to find like that medium between a good game that you want to share. You know? Yeah. Because I mean, it's way different with older gaming because there's dozens. I can I can literally just sit down in any old game like library and just like pick out handfuls. Just like this, 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 just just here. Just play these. Yeah. Um I can't really do that nowadays. Even old game like even reaching back as far as say the last decade or so. It's a little harder to pick out like games that I absolutely want to share, you know? Mm. But I mean, well, but what about you? I have a lot. Oh, this would be one game that I want to share. Not until they're a little bit older. I was gonna say, I'm like, really? Not until they're older, obviously, because <laughs> yeah. you know, it's kind of a uh, horror, quote unquote. Yeah, this this is not a game I'd want to share with a, a child not in their teens. I can get a hold of a copy though of there Beauty and the Beast: no Bell's Quest. Okay. And Beauty and the Beast, um, Beast something. Well, I was mainly talking postmodern, you know, modern oh. to within the last decade of games. Because I'm saying any game within the, like, our, oh, gen- like, old generation, I, I can say. But I'm saying, think like, okay, so this is GameCube. So GameCube and on, essentially, yeah. Twilight Princess would be one. Um, yeah, Twilight Princess would be a good one. I'd want them to play uh, probably, well, basically any of the Zelda like or Zelda titles. If, except Skyward Sword. I actually like Skyward Sword, but that's oh, because I could God. beat it. Oh, God. That's... It's... 
That's because I had no trouble beating it. Skyward Sword to me was. I did have an issue, painful. however, with the. Oh, by the way, uh -huh. does that tower yeah, look familiar? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I recognized it right away. Um, Skyward Sword for me was the one bad thing was having to fight that same goddamn boss four fucking times. Yeah, and that's just one of the many problems for me. Like I. To, to, I guess to put things in perspective, I love Zelda. Like, I love everything Zelda enough to the point that... That you were Link for our wedding. Well, I was Link for your wedding, and I also plan on getting a Zelda-themed tattoo at some point, but... Is that a floating sword? No, it's a... Uh, iron... <laughs> it's a... What the... Fire what? iron. Oh, uh, oh, like a poker thing. Yeah, yeah okay. fire poker. <laughs> I just saw this, like, floating thing. Um, do we ever figure out what to do in here? Uh, it comes later. Okay, okay, I gotcha. But it doesn't hurt to examine it. Yeah, I gotcha. Anyway, I'm yeah, just, yeah. I'm just having fun. I want some, I really want some of the other effects to trigger. Gotcha. But yeah, so I love everything Zelda related, just in general. Like, there's, there's obviously a few things I don't much care for. Like, a lot of the, uh, I guess Game Boy... What, what were they, DS games, essentially? I didn't much care. Like, Spirit Tracks weren't my, my thing. I did not like any of the, the Zelda games in that art style. Yeah, S Spirit Tracks wasn't for me. Phantom Hourglass wasn't for me. Uh, it feels like there was one more. Uh, uh, Minish Cap, even, I had a love-hate relationship with. I thought it was cute. I never... I liked the ideas Cap. behind it, but I didn't particularly care for it as a whole. Um, but, I mean, what about Wind Waker for you? Hated it. Really? Just because of the art style? Could not play it. Really? I hated the art style so much I could not play it. Well, that's that's very disappointing because, I mean, the game as a whole is amazing. Um, and that is very... I guess, oh, God. Hello. Jeez, that came out he, of nowhere. He literally was not there two seconds ago. Yeah. Who is this? Do we even... Is he going to scream at us? Probably. Oh, I really this hope is... so. <laughs> oh, come on. Just an eye open. Okay, that that was the first time I've ever seen that effect. I mean, I'll, I'll admit, when the guy suddenly appeared, I, I got the chills up my back, but then it just kind of, I, I got flaccid there. I'm like, oh. You got flaccid? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of hesitating on starting the next chapter. Yeah, I, I think that's something we'll actually save for perhaps the next session or so. I yeah. mean, we're, we're just kind of killing time right now and having fun, but... Yeah, but exploring some of the, the f more fun yeah, effects. Yeah, um, but I mean, Wind Waker's whole, I think you should probably try to give them another chance. Uh, like, uh, uh, just just down, down, you know, not liking it for the art style alone, it's a really good game. Uh, like, for me, it's easily within top five, if not top three. <sighs> Just, if nothing else, it's the exploration element the very first time the world opens up and you can just sail anywhere. For me, that was the point that I just, like, I sat down and I'm just like, this is a grand adventure. She just totally ran over those books. Yeah, yeah, she, she ran right over those books. Just doesn't give a fuck. What, 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 that was just a weird animation pause. Um... But yeah, this is this is obviously a subject for another time because I could go on for hours Ever. about this. Yeah, um, and we can't look at Alex's sweet ass. Yeah, for... well, I mean, we could certainly try, but <laughs> but it wouldn't be very fun. That's true. Anyway, you know what? We'll figure this all out next time on the branch. Thanks for watching, guys. So yeah. far. We'll we'll, uh, we'll see you next time we decide to sit down and play some more Rectile Dysfunction Sanity's yeah. Requiem. Yeah. <laughs>